Why do they call you the blowfish? Uh, it's just a nickname I picked up at university. It's to do with my big round face and my big spiky <laughs> hair. Because I think blowfish is a pretty cool. Do we call them blowfishes? Uh, a blowfish eye. I'm blowfish. not quite sure what the, the yeah. plural would be. But... If, you, if you had to choose a, a, a marine animal to be your pseudonym, what would you go with? Would, would blowfish it's be your be choice? blowfish, yeah, because okay. when I get angry, I swell up to five times my natural size. So <laughs> it's one and the same. Oh, I know the feeling, to be perfectly honest. Hey, um, this I've, I've been glancing through this this, this, uh, this morning. It is an incredible read. And, and the interesting thing is we know so little about the ocean, isn't it? I was watching uh, old mate David Attenborough on Blue Planet the other day and just realised I don't know anything Absolutely. about what's under the sea. Yeah, I mean, you've, um, we have put more people in space than we have put a mile down in the ocean. Now, when you know that 70% of the Earth's surface is water, and of that 70%, 90% of it is more than a mile deep, the biggest habitat on this planet has been completely ignored and unexplored. And it's also the habitat that runs this planet. We shouldn't call this place planet Earth, we should call it planet wet. But this is the, yeah, this is the amazing thing, isn't it? 70% of oxygen, is that right, comes from, comes from the ocean? Uh, yeah, we believe it's somewhere between 50 and, 50 and about 70, 80%. So you could take, uh, this is pretty heavy metal in saying this, but yeah. you could take all the trees on planet Earth and just burn them all, <laughs> uh, and you would not affect the oxygen that we're breathing right now. What? Yeah. You, that is that's an where incredible fact. It wouldn't be great for the old CO2 emissions, though, eh? Well, that's the other thing. See, the oceans have been sucking in all that yeah. CO2, and they've been becoming more acidic, they're becoming warmer, and that's affecting vast swathes of the oceans. I mean, fisheries are starting to see it, and we're starting to feel it. I mean, areas that rely on ocean currents for their climate, certainly, you know, not you guys down here so much, but certainly mm. in the UK, everything's changing. And people are like, oh, what's going on? What's going on? It's like... It's the CO2, it's climate change, it's the oceans. Is this what drew you to your studies? No, I, um, uh, my story starts a long time ago. Uh, I, um, I was tricked into watching... Um, I was told it was Crocodile Dundee. Right. Turns out it was Jaws. Yeah! Uh, yeah, you watch that when you're six, that'll <laughs> really imprint on you. Hang on, so you watched Jaws and you thought, actually, I want to get in the ocean. I want to I wanna do a bit more of that. Well, the thing was, I was absolutely terrified by sharks. They yeah. just, the, the, the film just totally marked me, but... Also, I couldn't put it down. And by the time I was like 11 or 12, I knew more about sharks then than most people will ever learn in their whole lives. And I learned how important they were, how vital they were for, for the environment, for the world. Mm. I mean, you've got to remember, sharks have been around on the planet longer than trees. That's how long they've been here. That's a good fact. Yeah. Is that in the book? I, I hope so. Yeah. If, if not, That's I need a, to rewrite that is, it. That is a great fact. But I mean, we are so scared of sharks. Eh? It's, it's such a weird little human foible because they really don't act. I mean, look. If you get your leg bitten off by a shark, I'm sure you're not a big fan of sharks. But they actually don't affect that many people. No, uh, I think it's uh, something like four or five fatalities a year. Whereas, uh, you know, you look at how many people must die on the roads. It, it's incredible. But it, the media always has a good spin on it. They, it's a good story. It sells newspapers. OK, well, just uh, while we're selling newspapers, <laughs> if I was being attacked by a shark, what should I do? Punch it in the face? Yes, um, absolutely. Yeah. Punch it in the face, get your fingers into its gills. Uh, sharks are actually really, really timid animals. I jumped in the water with a four metre long tiger shark and she just freaked out. She got so scared. And it was like, oh, little girl, yeah. you know, poor little girl. She was scared. And it took her ages to come back around and start investigating me and see what the score is. Uh, but I always say to people that you're talking about a top ocean predator. You're talking yeah. about something at the peak of evolution. If they genuinely wanted to munch us, you're going to get munched. OK. Blowfish, yes. um, what do you hope people will get out of your book? I hope it's going to give the average uh, man or woman in the street just that little bit of knowledge so that they think, you know what, I'm going to make sure I put that, mm. uh, that coffee lid in the recycling. You know what, I'm going to take my own bags to the supermarket because it's the smallest stones that start the avalanche. Right, OK. Hey, tell us about the death metal thing. Are you more of a System of a Down guy or a Slayer guy? I like a bit of Slayer. Do you? Love a little bit of Not Slayer. Not System of a Down though? I like, no, I like a bit of so System of a Down. It's so political. Yeah, you know, uh, sugar and all that. No, it's good. My, my favourite uh, heavy metal band is probably Machine Head. Right. Um, they, are, they are business. Uh, big fan of Tool. Tool are amazing. Mm -hmm. Hopefully a new album coming out mm -hmm. soon. Yeah. Um, and, of course, you know, Master of Puppets. It's got to be, hasn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, no, yeah. totally agree. Um, do you play music? I do, I'm a bassist. So, so when you're playing music, do you write songs about fish? Uh, I, can you imagine them? You know, be, <laughs> no one would listen. Uh, I think I would. I think, I think Hillary Berry would as well. <laughs>